Okay, I think we are live. Let me sort out OOBS. Be kind. Be kind. Hello, everyone. Right, hopefully this works. And I'll see myself change in the background. Welcome, everyone, to the very first watch along. I'm just testing that it all works. Then we'll crack open the cider. Oh, I can see myself in the YouTube thing. YouTube, you need to sort out your streaming stuff. It's very difficult to kind of work out and do uh, when you're technically challenged. Well, not technically challenged, but more like you've got lots of things to do all at once. It doesn't make it quite so nice and normal. So, OK, we are up and running and live. Let me just turn myself down. Welcome to the Wholesome Game stream. I hope you're all well. Um, we'll be cracking open some cider in a second. So why am I doing a watch along? Because I'm not very famous. Um, basically, a lot of what Higher Plane Games does um, is shining the light on some indie stuff. And one of the best ways to do this is, as you can see in the bottom there, is um, the Wholesome Direct, which is coming to you in 2021. If you don't want to watch me reacting to it, I've put the link in the description. So you can just go and play with that um, and watch that and don't bother with me. But I just thought it'd be nice if, you, if you're alone on a Saturday afternoon uh, and you just want to chill, then yeah, come and play. Come and play. The chat is up on the screen as well. So I'll catch everything as it's going through. Um, we're going to watch together. It's going to be good, good fun. So um, there's a few things that I was going to do, because otherwise, if it's just a watch along, then it's just a bit cack, really, isn't it? Um, bear with me a second. I'm just going to make sure. Yeah, no, we're good. We're good. Not much of a delay either. Well done, PooTube. OK, let me just dive in here. So there's a couple of things that I wanted to do. Um, firstly, we'll crack open a cider. But um, the whole point of Wholesome Direct is that you have... Uh, it's created by volunteers, ran by volunteers, who just like wholesome, cool, cute games, uh, largely highly indie, so these aren't going to be like your top tier stuff that's going on, but it's all of that kind of gaming stuff that I really, really like. So, I'm super intrigued to see what's coming. There's apparently 75 games in this wholesome direct, um, a lot of stuff that I'll probably like. Uh, and similar to how I was when I went through the demos on Steam at the beginning of this year and made a massive video about, about six, I think it was 50 games that I liked there, um, I was kind of saying, yes, I liked, no, I didn't. So as I react to each of the games coming through here, behold my Katamari ball. Na, 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 um, so what I thought would be really quite cool is I can say on the Katamari whether or not I think the game is hot or not, depending on where I stick on the colours. So fun little game to play along. If you're watching live or in repeat, just let us know what ones you thought was hot and what was not as you go along. Um, so yeah, super intrigued and excited. Uh, the premiere kicks off in nine minutes. Hopefully this won't all crash and go horribly wrong. <laughs> Uh, during the meantime um but yeah super excited and we'll see how we're going uh if you're interested in anything that's coming up um on this channel actually in the next weekend uh, i have a huge live stream planned that will go on for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours uh, i'll order a takeaway during it as well um because steam's next fest sale kicks off on the 16th wednesday um i've been fortunate enough to be sent some advanced demos of stuff um but i want to go through the steam neck fest and download like loads of demos and have them ready and we'll spend a whole um afternoon into the evening next saturday from three o'clock uk time just going through and um going through those demos and seeing how we uh what we like of the games as we go so yeah God knows what we'll actually be playing, because I've only ha I've got a few kind of set through in advance, but we'll see how we feel. All right, let's crack open the cider. Oh, let me get that close to the mic. Give you some ASMR. <sighs> yes. Cheers, everyone, to indie games. This is I've not tried this yet. Pineapple and raspberry cider from Lidl's. 
other other brands, flavors, and shops are available. Cheers. Hmm. It's nice. It's nice. I like it. Oh. Hmm. Okay. What else exciting is there to chat about with seven minutes to go? Um, tomorrow I will be diving through setting up my PlayStation 2. I've had lots of requests from my PS2 collection videos, uh, not necessarily on the channel actually. You've all come to me through Twitter or through messages or on other videos that aren't the PS2 collection videos uh, asking for various different PS2 game playthroughs. Uh, most notably Buzz Robo Jam, uh, which I'd forgot that I'd not actually done on this channel. So I'll be going back and doing some of that soon as well. Uh, my hopes for Wholesome Direct. I would like to see some stuff around... Um, I feel like I'm quite done with Farming's type sims, sims, unless they do something else alongside it. So not 75 Farming Sims, please. Uh, I've recently started getting into photography games. Uh, and there's a couple that have come out very recently that uh, I plan to review. Um, one's called Alicon, uh, which looks super cool. Um, and then there's Mists of uh, Marderville, I think it's called, that comes out at the end of this month. And that looks gorgeous as well. And it's just wandering around weird and wonderful landscapes, taking photos of animals and all kinds of things. Uh, and it looks super cute and cool. Uh, so I'd like to see some more of that on here. Mm. I do like me a cute RPG, so anything with that would be cool. I doubt we'll see any rhythm action stuff, but you know me, I love a rhythm action game. So be super hyped for that as well. Um, I did see in the preview trailer, actually, um, Ooblets was on there. In fact, let's let me just show you the trailer now. We'll do a replay. Cute. That's out of common, I think. <laughs> That's made me laugh every time I see it. But if we dive back there, so we've got... Here we go. So Ooblets, I've been super looking forward to that. Um, I know it's a Epic Store exclusive, I think, for a small period of time, uh, but I'm sure we'll get there. Uh, Paralives, don't know of. We are OFK, I've heard some, some good stuff with that. Garden Story, I've heard a lot of good stuff about, and Button City as well, um, were two that are something that I'm personally looking forward to. Um, so yeah, out of the ones that are there, well, those are the ones that make me most excited. So, yeah. Let's see how we get on. Dive that there. I'm assuming that in four minutes to go, this premiere will kick off uh, and we'll get to see that there. If you don't want to watch me, link down in the description. It's good. Latest purchase. Look very um, flattering. Came in the post today. I've been told don't buy it, but I really wanted it. Uh, and it was only £13 now uh, on eBay. Uh, Space Base Startopia for PS4. Um, yeah, the PS5 upgradable. Apparently it's terrible, but it's a city builder style game, so I had to get it. Um, I'd be interested to see if Wholesome Direct's got any city builders. I'd have thought that might have been a bit above the scope of some of the indies that we get. Um, but we'll see. Um, yeah, but apparently that game is terrible, so we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully it'll be patched. <laughs> oh, I knew it'd be quiet. Oh, bye. Got my Katamari ball ready. I'm ready to judge. Uh, and actually just reminds me. So Wholesome Direct is ran by Wholesome Games. So if you want to find out more about like this initiative and what they do, go to wholesomegames.com. You can sign up for updates. They're on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. 
everywhere. So, um, yeah, give them a follow if you're interested in any kind of indie, um, cute, vibrant, wholesome. Uh, I expect quite a lot of non-violent games to be in this show as well, because it's just all about chilling and relaxing and getting fun back into games. Um, I'm a big fan of big epic scales, and uh, though I'm not a fan of shoot 'em ups in any way, shape or form, um, and like war-torn worlds and apocalypse... Uh, but I think, funny enough, it's made me realise actually, pandemic-y wise, um, the value of a cute chill game and the thing that it brings. So, yay for that. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Okay, two minutes left. 60 seconds. <gasps> and then the scar. I'm not drunk enough to do this all by myself. <laughs> Thank God the games are coming. Oh, well, we have to do the horrific YouTube two minute countdown. Meow, meow, meow. On YouTube's Creator Insider, they said months ago that they were going to give different styles of music. It's never come. I need to roll that out, please. Now! Right, shush, Smithy. The time has come. Let's enjoy Wholesome Direct. Hopefully. Yee! Come on, Prince. We got it, we got it. Your premiere will begin shortly. Come on. I want to judge. Do I need to do a refresh? Please don't ask me to refresh. Do a refresh. No, nope, it's still there. Thank God for that. Has that now foobarred everything? Wow, oh, that's going to foobar the screen for a bit. Apologies. Come on, come on, come on. Instant sweat pouring from me. <laughs> I've gone proper anime, Simon. <laughs> Oh, I knew it would happen. Right, you've got two minutes to get your snacks and your drinks in. I wish they made this piece of music less depressing. But I do like how it reminds me of... Oh, old people will remember this. The BBC stuff, or before it used to switch on at 6am. And you used to have like, the girl holding it and she was all like... Of, um, is it a blackboard? It's been ages. It's been years. Meow, 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 meow. So many fucking premieres I've had to sit through. <laughs> I wonder if YouTube will now copyright claim my this video based off of their own YouTube clips. That would be very YouTube matter. Creators will understand. <laughs> okay. We are ready. Remember, red means the game is hot. Then on various degrees down to me thinking the game is not hot down in the blue ass of the Katamari ball. We've got it. Apart from that, I'm just going to act like a giant child, like normal. Not bad for a 37 year old. Cheers everyone. Have a great stream. <clears throat> Immediately chokes on cider. <laughs> Go! 
Oh, naff off. <laughs> Mummy, no. <laughs> I was hyped. I should know and learn better. <laughs> That's really tickled me. <laughs> okay. What the hell am I supposed to entertain you lot for for 14 minutes, 27 seconds? Okay. Um, should we have a tour? Let's have a tour of my flat whilst I'm here. Fuck it out. Let's... Oh! Okay. I'm all over this. Performance by Omni Boy. Song from We Off OK. Oh, Akai. I've got my ah. We're gonna be. I've. I've not got that synth. Hang on, let me remove my move controller. He's a he, this person's posh. I oh hang on, it's got my address on it. I'll show that way. I have an Akai 16 beat drum set for when I make music, and I love the way how that synth lights things up. Very snazzy gloves there, Omni Boy. That makes me think of you playing an Omni chord, but you're not. Sure soundtrack. This soundtrack will do well on Bandcamp. Omni Boy, release it, dude. <laughs> Are they white mittens, though? They're not like gloves. They're, they're mittens. I feel like we need some Miku to sing along though. Oh, apologies if that shaped my armpit. Thank God I didn't want this a bit dusty, never mind. Miku! Miku! La 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 la! How all that I can do for that. Let's put Miku down there. Very chill. This is exactly what I expect from Wholesome Direct. <laughs> oh, jazzy. I want to know what keyboard that is. It's proper cool. Oh, FL Studio. <coughs> Who loves Fruity Loops? Very snazzy. So, I suppose we're playing guess what theme this comes from. This feels like we've just come home to the family home. Hey Tifa. <laughs> you know it. Oh, just knocked a bit off my chair. Very chill though.
I love that he's just doing it in his bedroom as well. Is that in his bed? Yeah. Indie vibes. Persona, but not at the same time. <laughs> um, Katamari, Katamari boys. I approve. I was about to say <coughs> that's an awesome tie rack, but then the Katamari pulled me away. Oh, now I have flat envy. <laughs> Plastic one as well. Or did it blow up? I'm obsessed. Tell me about your Katamari Omni Boy. I need to know. Yours magnetic like this one. a dungeon theme not knowing what we are OFK are it actually is off the top of my head that's with that cat mane Oh, 
I like that drum transition. I like this one. It's like Jazz Chill Sonic. I feel like the, the Sega Kahika Club. I can never, I, I can't remember the exact pronunciation of it, but they'd like do jazzy, uh, jazz fusion versions of like classic Sega songs. They've done some albums on it. So there's like um, the Outrun themes on there, um, Space Harrier. Um, I want to say R Type, but it's not. Um, there's a few like big main themes from Sonic games that are on there. Uh, or like old franchises from like the early 90s and um, yeah they kind of do like jazz fusion versions and then they did like a piano nocturne version for each song as well proper cool album if you can find it it's proper old probably available on YouTube oh I have envy on your chord setup as well my flat is just chords and cables everywhere I need to sort my shit out. I'm interested in that Gaia modulation thing on the side as well for the pitch bending. But most of all, I want that Akai <laughs> synth pattern modulator thing in the top left. I want one of those, please. Arpeggiator. I guess probably the posh word for it. Yeah, I was gonna say EQ filters, yes, plus, I do want that. Omni Boy, that's great music, but I'm very jealous of your tech. And I want your Katamari. Oh, I want that too. work out how that works. <clears throat> it must be patterns that you've preambled and then, the <coughs> excuse me, the longer you hold it goes round, but sometimes it didn't look or feel like that. Super interesting though. Cool, right. Second time of asking. Cheers everyone, enjoy the stream. Not that anyone's here to watch it with me, but fuck it. We're going to have a great time. Katamari Ball, anyone can watch on replay. Sorry, I didn't know that was 15 minutes of chill before we got going. I think he drunk the bottle. Rowdy Smithy. That looks cool. I want to 
don't know what that Welcome is. Welcome back to Wholesome Direct, a celebration of wholesome games. My name is Jenny Windham, and I am joined by my co-hosts, Victoria Tran and Derek Fields. Sit back and relax as we bring you exclusive footage from 75 Wholesome Games. And remember, if you see any games you love today, head over to wholesomegames.com to get all the info and find out how you can support the developers. All right, let's get started. Crucial. Support your indies, y'all. Ooh, straight in. Me, 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 Pinky McBluebird, pardon? I'm not sure about a sitcom narrative game. Yes, for the experience. What channel is that coming on? <laughs> not sure about the canned laughter. I hope that's turn off a ball in the game. Regolith is a mysterious adventure game where you explore a strange town by following trails of light. During your journey, you'll help the residents of this town by using items illuminated by the light to progress the story. Best of luck to Ericsson. I don't know who that is, but I hope they do well. Ah, oh, Snacko! I've seen some press on this. I'm sure I have. Again, it's a farming-y thing, so that's why I was like, I feel farmed out. But hey, Cat Lico shows you can do cats with anything. Farming cat venture. Again, I'm in the yellow with that one. I'm super looking forward to this. I know what this one is already. Hello, Alicon. I loved the demo of this. I don't even need to wait for the trailer. This one's going to be hot. So it's on rails, the way how it works. But you've got all of these other kind of mini games in coolness as well. It reminds me of pure N64 joy. Um... So Alicon, I can't remember, I think it comes out next week, if it's not out already. Um, available now! Oh, they must have... Wow. Go on to Steam right now, please. Yes. yes. Any game, like taking photos and game, slapping on a filter, slapping on stickers, I'm into mm -hmm. it. I'm into it. Agreed. Hi, I'm Annie. And I'm Lucas. And we are Max Inferno. And we're very excited to introduce to you our tidy puzzle game, A Little to the Left. It's a game where you stack, sort, and organize things into just the right spot. Yep. Wait, does that look crooked to you? Ah! Oh. It's okay, I can fix it. Okay. Oh, is this going to be turn into OS OCD simulator? <laughs> A little to the left. Ah, oh, this is like an oddly satisfying game, isn't it? <laughs> For me, it's there, but I can I know of people that will adore that. Look at this. Oh, hello. Oh, 
I'm loving the aesthetic. Oh, it uses ooblets! Port forward. Okay, right. Hot. I really want ooblets. I'm just We're not just buying it on started, the Epic Store. I'd love to take a moment to mention our collaboration with the International Rescue Committee. There are now more than 80 million refugees and displaced people around the world who have been forced out of their homes. The IRC provides emergency aid and long-term support to refugees and those displaced by war, persecution, or natural disasters. We've partnered with Yeti to offer some limited-time Wholesome Direct merch, like this incredible 3D acrylic stand, as well as a t-shirt featuring games from what today's event. $5 from every product sold goes to the International Rescue Committee. While Wholesome Games often show us what a kind of world can look like, we hope this reminds you to never forget the suffering in our own world and what we can do to help. If you'd like to learn more, you can visit rescue.org slash wholesome games or follow at rescue org on Twitter. Cool clothes. What's that? Cast spells, be queer, and crash the biggest concert of the year. I mean... Not the match three. ...is an action puzzle game set in a lush, narrative-driven world of witchy demons. Swap to the beat as you reassemble lost spirits, Ooh, to the beat. enjoy the lo-fi soundtrack, me. decorate your bedroom, and hang with friends. Lo-fi beats to match three two. I like it. <laughs> um, mm, Orangey-ish. I love the rhythm of raindrops. Behind there. the frame is, is a narrative-driven puzzle game. Me vibes. Features a unique painting mechanic, 360 degree panoramic scenes, and a totally custom soundtrack. Oh, awesome. Ooh, having had Chicory come out yesterday, which has just made me go, ooh, painting games. Ooh, don't give me animation. Now I really want it. Okay, I am hot on that one. I've not heard of that game either, Behind the Frame. Hi, I'm Megan Fox, lead developer on Skateboard. Oh, okay. Skate games have no. a history of being <laughs> not from the Transformers and game. using every button on the gamepad and requiring rapid inputs to boot. Skateboard is no exception, as you can see here, but I wanted to see if I could simplify that at all. <laughs> so I started looking at ways of reducing buttons and thus how much hand travel is required during gameplay. The easiest one was auto push on Ollie. Hold Ollie down, you go forward. Even classic skate games did this one, but it helps avoid input density on the left stick. After that, I wanted to try and reduce how much your right hand moves. So I started by merging grind and ollie. Normally pulling off a grind requires moving your hand from the bottom of the gamepad face all the way to the top. But now it's just an easy double tap of the bottom button. Add in the option that slows the game down, being able to grab or kickflip with just one button too, and hopefully anyone will be able to have fun skateboarding with the bird when the skatebird releases soon. I'm not sure how I feel about that because a part of the fun of those games is the Here challenge. Here comes Nico so, is the cozy yellow. 3D platformer for tired people. Mm. What we're seeing now is a showcase of some of the friendly, quirky characters you'll meet in the game. <laughs> oh, did I mention your boss is a frog? Awesome. Can't wait for my one to ones. Hocus Crocus. Jesus! Why we do this to ourselves? I don't really get what that is still. Hey everyone, so, I'm Saffron green. and I'm the creative director at Kitten Cup Studio. We're making Pico a cozy tea making simulator where you run a tea house in a town full of cats. We're really excited for you to see what we've been working on and we hope that if you love tea and cats as much as we do, that you'll come check us out. 
I don't love tea, but I do love cats. Pico is a cute cat-filled tea-making simulation game about taking the time for self-care and connecting with the things that make you happy. As the town's newest resident and tea house owner, you'll learn 12 unique rituals and tea-making styles. This looks like it could be satisfying. Meet Meredith Weiss. A hard-working career woman in the big city, 1986. Ooh. She decides to take a break and mm -hmm. goes back to her hometown to become... A mail carrier. Bread. I've seen click and play for this already. Sure, driving a mail truck around such magnificent scenery. Meeting people is also part of the job. Some of them are familiar. Many are new. Some of them are friendly, some are very busy, some are happy, some seem happy, some like cats, while others just want their mail. <laughs> and some of them, she could get to know a little bit better. Meow. Who knows what will happen in two weeks? Meredith might even change a few lives, including her own. <clears throat> Super looking forward to that. It looks really cool every time I see something. It makes me go, mm. Hello, isometric pixel art. Oh, I do like that pixel art, though. Very, um... Squidgy. It's a garden store. Loving that soundtrack as well. Gatcha Pom. Now you've got me. Yokai in. Okay, I I was loving the look of that. I will see you there. There's so much to that game. I'm excited for it. All the little <laughs> characters and their names, especially, were mm -hmm. just a cute touch already. My cheeks hurt. <laughs> it is wholesome. Oh, hello. Oh, they look like the um, the Purcell adverts, where everything's made of cloth. Oh, hello. Oh, Ooh, console as well. Nice. Uh, too little to show, so I'm going to go orange. Okopa's Atlas is a grand adventure on an uncharted planet. Kokopa and Poimero venture out into a new world full of potential, beautiful landscapes, unique characters, and untold secrets. Looks interesting. Thought I'd get on oh, Kickstarter, must we? Uh, orange? I'm gonna say for that, looks interesting. Might be farmy though. Oh. Just count nine in the woods. Crossed with. Um, the Fox game from PS1. Kingsley. Very Kingsley. Loving that PS1 vibe. Oh, hello. Bring me the mini games. The bottom. Spicy. Button City. I've seen a trailer for Button City. I don't remember it being this. Must have got them crossed up, sorry. Much of tough fluffs. Kind of thing I'd call Mavra. 
Mmm, yes. Red! Oh, PS5, yeah, that can clearly run PS4. Adventure. The game is about Sarah. A young girl from Switzerland who is writing letters to her pen friend. Thanks to these letters, she is able to communicate her feelings, hopes and dreams. As the game progresses and Sarah gets older, there will be different sides to the story for you to discover, depending on the words that you chose. Ooh. IBM Games presents Letters. Ooh. Follow the life of Sarah through all the good times and bad times. Oh, I like the idea of this. I've just recently Hope bought Lost Words as well, which has a similar use the power of style. In this nostalgic pen pal adventure. Look for it later this year on Steam and also Nintendo Switch. Mm. I'll give that one an orange. Thank you very much. <gasps> You're alone on a cold Christmas night. Mm. Stuck at home in a foreign country. That's okay though. You'll get through it by rate. cooking a hot dish intended for six people. Oh, hot this pot for one is a short experience about the bitterness of lonely times and the sweet comfort of food that keeps us going. Oh my dinners are dinners for one. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen gameplay of that where the frame rate is better, so that's a red for me. Hwa! Traverse the grove as a guardian grape. Protect friends, gather precious materials, and repair social ties and structures by bringing the community of each village together as they work to fend off the rot. This looks oddly familiar. Guide Concord's restoration efforts and earn the trust of the community. Again, kind of an orangey yellow. Thought is an RPG shaped by your own personality. Uh. Find common ground in card-based battles and overcome your pitfalls together. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Ready to confront yourself? Mm. Be sure to catch the demo on Steam right now. Oh, okay. Interesting. Hi, Card mechanics I'm gives Michelle me a yellow. Wilson, the game director of Beasts of Maravia Island. Beasts of Maravia Island <gasps> is a game about discovering extraordinary creatures, learning their behaviors, and most importantly, photographing their magic. I'm super hyped My for this. My team and I are so excited for you to meet all of Maravia Island's magical inhabitants and see the amazing photos that you take. Mm. Embark on your adventure in the hidden magic jungles of Maravia Island. Assume the role of an aspiring wildlife photographer armed so with good. a grandfather's camera and a field guide of Maravia Island. Explore, discover extraordinary creatures, interact with them in their natural habitat, and photograph the enchanting, unique behaviors you reveal. Yes! On your journey through the magic jungles, you'll climb, explore, and solve puzzles with the island's flora and fauna to find and photograph its fabulous beasts. Play with a rambunctious otter crocodile. Be the wingman for a love-struck bird monkey, and discover the favorite hiding spots of birds disguised as bananas. It's got such a cool vibe, this game. Like ethereal jungle. Beasts of Maravia Island is out today. Today? Oh wow, I thought it was out in two weeks time. Fantastic. I've put Hi, in a request for I'm that Sunshine for a review Hotel copy. Studio, I will buy it. And we're making Hua. We had a lot of fun at Wholesome Direct last May, and we're super excited to be back again with some new updates. This time, we have some exclusive footage as well as an announcement to make, so do stay tuned till the end of the video. Will do. So this time, we're underground. This is home to the Flying Rocks. As you match each of them to their own cloud of light, they will become the cutest moving platforms. Hmm. Since last year at Wholesome Direct, our ferry has come a long, long way. 
And now that she's almost ready to meet everyone, we would like to say thank you for being all the while supportive and kind. Today we are really happy to announce that Hua will be coming to you guys on the 21st of August, 2021. We can't okay. wait for everyone to join this journey. And see you then. Bye-bye. I, I like the look of that. That's an orange for Three, me. Two, one, one, zero. Okay, here we go. Hi, I'm Itsumi. I play piano when I can get You're some cash to pay me. Itsu, this house has lawn games. Did you see? Luca! Hey, hey, it's my friend Luca. It's on hentai. The Hi. Saturn because he's far away, and Carter is a shooting star because they have long sweaters and do wishes. Exactly. Thank you, Itsu. This is Jay. Jay is scary, but in a hot way, and is also a genius, but for your ears. really know what I even want to say with music. You gotta have something to say. If anything, you're honest. And when you're honest, saying anything is something special. Oh. I'm definitely wishlisting that now. Red. For those just joining, we'd like to remind you of our collaboration with the International Rescue Committee. More than 80 million people are uprooted by crisis worldwide. That's the highest number though. ever recorded. The RSC helps people survive, recover, and gain control of their future. We've partnered with the Yeti to offer limited time, wholesome direct items like this incredible 3D acrylic stand, as well as a t-shirt featuring games from today's event. $5 from every product sold goes to the International Rescue Committee. If you'd like to learn more, you can visit rescue.org slash wholesome games or follow at rescue org on Twitter. Thanks for your support. the extendable table came from in the trailer. Ooh, corners. Which reminds me of Mega Aquarium. Oh, that's cool. That it does actually apply to everything. That should Sims 4 home builder. <laughs> the game. <laughs> So to be fair, I know of people that just only build homes in The Sims. Power lives. I'm not sure what it actually is, if it's just a house building game. In there. Oh, kiwi! Yes. Absolute red for me. This is day one. My day one buy is kiwi. This looks so good. Hi, I'm Trent, and this is my grandma. Hi! And Hello. we're here to show you a trailer for my new game, uh, Walk with Yaya. It's about walking your grandma around the neighborhood after she's had a scary fall, and you're trying to build her confidence back up. What did you think oh. about the trailer, Gaga? It was good. If your grandma likes something, that means it's good. <laughs> This reminds me of a very similar vibe-ish to, um, oh, I've previewed it already, Joan, Prologue Joan, uh, on this channel, where uh, it's a developer who's writing about the fact that um, his mum's terminally ill and how he dealt with Bonjour, it. Bonjour, I'm Cédric Babouche, super, the super art director of Sage de Sais Quoi, uh, that's working a with Human Animation kind of in a watercolor adventure, Dordogne. Dardan follows Mimi, a young woman revisiting her childhood memories through puzzles and letters 
but her grandmother left for her. Nostalgia Everything in Dordogne is hand painted on paper before being brought to life in game. Oh wow! Through the adventure, you will help Mimi build her journal with the photos, sounds, and the words you will find. Before long, Mimi's journal will be full of memories of the summers she will have spent with her grandmother in Dordogne. A nostalgic adventure, Dordogne is brimming with feeling and heart. Help Mimi see once again through the eyes of the little girl who marveled at everything when Dordogne launches later this year Ooh. on PC and Nintendo Switch. All right, look at that. Wait to show you more. That's an orange, so <laughs> nearly top hot. Yeah, I got little chills watching that. That was so that was nice. Cool. It, it's like you get to take pictures, but also. You know how when you have childhood memories and sometimes there's like sounds that you really like and I like right. you get to like also use sounds in your scrapbook. That's really, mm -hmm. really cool. Nostalgia is so powerful as a tool for anything. I like that. Ooh, I want to know what this game is because I was like, ooh, that looks cool in the trailer. Do we play as the lizard? I think we do. Sounds very Yasunori Mitsuda in the soundtrack. Oh, yes. The Gecko Gods. Vibe. Hot. My wants. My wants. Oh, Tassamachi. So I'm currently in the process of playing this for review. Um, short answer by it. If you like slightly janky platform adventure games, behind the twilight. it's proper gorgeous Enjoy though. Yukumo in her journey to repair her beloved airship in a mysterious silent town. Mm -hmm. Fantastic soundtrack as well. Lots of platforming puzzles that where you're too light and airy to be precise, but actually the game doesn't want you to be precise, which kind of makes it feel a bit strange. Meet the but the Tribe world itself is beautiful. Releases on consoles in 2021. Ah, I didn't know it was coming to console. Great stuff. Oh well, PC version's great though. I like running around as a fox. Nature's better when you're a fox. Novels, of course. My personal favourites are Austin and Elliot. Oh. I live to see the smiles oh. of others. That includes yours. <laughs> Easy! I like to win. My wife's melon tongue. I really love dinosaurs! The mornings that Tommy and I eat breakfast together are my favourite. Please be happy. Demo available now. Cute. But I'm done with visual novels. So, Brainy. Looks cute though. Oh, oh, someone's been playing the potion game. <laughs> I've forgotten the name of it. Alchemist something? Or is it potion? Cool then. Creamy. Leap into battle cakes and forge the path of a cupcake hero you create. Yes. And a real jam. No! <laughs> Explore past Illyria, an enchanted kingdom that's jam-packed full of magic, mystery, and the many friends you'll meet along the way in this cozy turn-based RPG. Oh yes, give me but take my money now. <laughs> Hell yes, red. <laughs> I will be buying that just because I'm a fat oh, bitch. I'll tell you all about Pinefall. It used to be such a great spot. Charming and beautiful. Now, it's a dump. No wonder nobody steps foot in this place anymore. You'd have to go out there and clean up the joint. 
get some new furniture and remodel everything. And even after all of that, you'd still need to take care of the critters, dredge the swamp, and throw out all the garbage. Oh, and you probably should do something about whatever's lurking out there. Baron breakfast. Uh, unsure, I think that might... Other people, I think, might be more excited for that than me. I'm going to leave it in yellow. That's got to be like an FMV sequence. Surely, that can't be real graphics. Spelling triggers me. Oh, we're going to get Passport. A sequel. Bob Ross. Or Nick. Thing of me, Bob. It is! Passport out too! Fantastic! Hot. Hot, 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 hot. Original is fantastic. <gasps> Chipney cold. <laughs> Wholesome children. Tasks. Jesus, make the kids work hard. <laughs> that looks cool. Even if it is like chores the game, I'll give that an orange. I like the principle and idea. I'm Evelia, member of the Carl Plusit Tales. What you just saw is a riddle of our first game, Sally. If you'd like to know more about it, make sure to follow us at Lucid Tales and join us on YouTube for our new series, Game Dev Tales. See you soon. Will do. Thank you very in much. In Rainbow Billy, you start your journey in Star Harbor, a peaceful island in the world of imagination. Until suddenly, the Leviathan awakes from his slumber and curses the world to black. Mr. Driller. Anyone Along else think that Billy's looks like Mr. Driller? Rodrigo and Friendship, they embark on an epic journey to recolor every island, solve puzzles, and complete various trials in order to befriend colorless creatures like Eggins. By confronting these creatures and showing empathy to understand what they're going through, their missing colors are revealed, and with the help of your friends, they're fully restored to their whimsical selves. <laughs> oh, that feels very cozy grove. Billy's new friends join the adventure and have a new home aboard Friendship. Take care of your new friends by feeding them gummy fish to strengthen your bond. Rainbow Billy, the Curse of the Leviathan, oh! will be launching later this year. Don't quit for Adding this game to your wish list would mean the world to us. Thanks for watching. Steam algorithm. Add it to wish lists, otherwise it doesn't get the traction. Uh, that was a orange. I like the look of that one. Unpacking is a game about taking possessions out of boxes and learning about someone's life over a series of moves. Hmm. You're not living by yourself this time, so it's up to you to figure out how to fit in. Problems are real. But I don't need to do that with my game collection. Interesting. I will... Sukhat is a then. cooking game with a focus on creativity. Mm. Red, red, red. That's what I thought Hot Pot for One was. It's Sukhat. And explore plating styles in various traditional kitchens. I really want this game. I'll be down. That'll probably be a day one for me. Kingdom Heart said hi. Oh, I like the... Oh, that art style is really um, like lo-fi claymation. 
That's quite striking. I like that. Oh, wind chimes. Kingsley the fox again. It's always tricky to get like a an indie flying game that works well. That looks quite fluid, doesn't it? Oh, hello. Looks good. Who are you? Cloud Jumper. Hmm. Quite like that. I will rate that a hot yellow. Nothing's been on Teacup the blue side. is a wholesome narrative adventure with a focus on exploration and non-linear progression. Okay. I've played the demo of this already. Help a small and shy frog on her journey to find the ingredients she needs for her tea party. Mm -hmm. Did I play a demo of this? I'm sure I did. Uh, and I found it I'm very and I'm Luke, cheery. And I'm so I'm a bunny hug. After the initial fair. overwhelming response to Moonglow Bay, we've seen a wonderful community grow and made many new friends. Speaking of friends, we wanted to share with the wholesome community a sneak peek into the friendship system of the fishing town that is afraid to fish. Voxels! Give me voxels! Oh, nice. Cooking mama. Cooking voxel. <laughs> oh, I like the look of this. Is this my token I'll sign your journal? That must make, that must make sense in the game. <laughs> Uh, oh, Game Pass. Okay, fair enough. Um, that's an orange. That looked quite cool to me. Paparazzi is <gasps> a game about taking photos of cute dogs. Fuck yes. Red, 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 red. <laughs> I need no nothing else. Explore the world and find all the pups. Like in this newly revealed area, Muttropolis. <laughs> My other half will literally scream knowing that this exists. <laughs> We're, bo we're both bitches for bitches. What could I say? Luna's Fishing Garden is a cozy fishing and building game. Ooh. Oh, hello. I feel we have a scale problem. Ah! Catch ah! fish, trade them in, and create the garden of your dreams by planting new trees, placing objects, oh, and bringing myself. animals to the archipelago. interesting um again a yellow i need to know more some of these trailers are very very short i'm guessing because it's indian the academy in is a life sim where you play as a wizard apprentice oh harry potter indie train your magical skills by attending classes hmm. don't forget to take care of your garden too why oh, i suppose so then make potions Evil. You'll meet other apprentices and explore the academy. Aww. You can even spend time bonding with your spirit companion. My spirit companion would be a doggo or a dolphin. Witchery Academy. That looks really interesting. I'm going to give it a hot yellow. Because I imagine that will be a lengthy Welcome game. to Amber Isle. Ooh, gone. Is she called Amber? Or is the island called Amber? On this peaceful island, you are tasked with running your very own shop and befriending the local prehistoric animal villagers, the Aww. Paleo Folk. 
Hey, hey, folk. Craft items, customize your shop and character, and expand the village to meet the needs of your paleo folk neighbors. I saw the screenshot for this, I thought it was Alicon, sorry. But it's not. This looks quite cute. I approve. Dewey eyes. Yeah, I approve. Again, another hot yellow. One last time, we'd like to talk about our collaboration with the International Rescue Committee. The IRC is one of the only organizations that works across the entire arc of crisis providing immediate relief to millions whose lives have been shattered by conflict, disaster, and climate change, and helping refugees to rebuild their lives once they have found safety. We've partnered with the Yeti to offer some limited time, wholesome direct merch, like this incredible 3D acrylic stand, as well as a t-shirt featuring games from today's event. $5 from every product sold goes to the International Rescue Committee. And if you'd like to learn more, you can visit rescue.org slash wholesome games or follow at rescue org on Twitter. Thank nice. you. Very welcome. Why the cause? My name is Widow. Uh -oh. Oh, this is going to be a satisfying game, isn't it? Eggplant, hi. I like how um, play doughy it all looks. I feel like I could squidge it. So is what we do... You kind of fill it in. Interesting concept. I can see myself really enjoying that though. Even though it looks quite minimalist. So I'm going to give it a hot yellow. Ooh, White Thorn Games. Great dev. I'm not even going to rate that. With a whisk. Moonshell Island. I've seen that elsewhere, so I'm going to do a kind of mid yellow to hot yellow. If you're going to do a Stardew Valley, you need to have a unique spin on it, because otherwise you're going to fail. Frog Song is a heartfelt adventure eclipse. where it's okay to be small. Oh. Talk to cute, froggy characters and protect yourself from monsters on your journey to prove that you can be a hero too. I'm too, it's I'm, almost time I've been to burnt say from Kickstarter Before too many go, times. We'd like to share even more wholesome games coming your way this year and beyond. Cool. These are going to go by fast, so don't forget to visit wholesomegames.com after the show for all the info and links to everything. <laughs> awesome. I don't even know that that was existing. That looks really cool. Approve. As an orange clawfish. Oh, I've seen this elsewhere. Um, yellow. That will frustrate me. <laughs> that will be super. S <sighs> Hot yellow. That will be really annoyingly satisfying. <laughs> That makes me think of that anime, uh, Mushishi. Mmm, hot yellow. 
2D and Topi. Um, yellow. I need to see more of that. A short hike camping edition by the looks of it. So hot yellow. yellow. I like the art style of that. <laughs> that was on a beta then for a minute. Ooh, I've heard really mixed opinions of the Magnificent Truffle Pigs. I was going to grab it on release um, and then I chose not to because I've most people I've met have not had a good experience with it. Fossil Corner came out about two hours ago. Um, I'm planning to probably grab this because it looks really interesting. I had the Steam notification just before this going live. Uh, Dreamland Confectionery. Num num. It's food. Hot yellow. Ah, yes. This has been on my wish list for bloody ages as well. Um, the Quantum Astrophysics Guild do some really great games, so I, I'm a fan of them as a dev, so that's a orange for me. A pico. I don't know this. Yellow. Looks interesting. Cat designer mocha. Or mocha. a green not sure on that oh hello again a green I'm not a fan of that style for that type of game but I'm loving that orange because it teaches you the Japanese doesn't it yeah I've got several games like this that I've not played yet that I've bought. But that looks nice and in depth. Yellows for both of the last two. Co oak? Is that some kind of menage a trois simulator? Green? I'm not really sure of that. Excuse me. Cat Cafe Manager. I quite like management games, that's all cool. Maybe a yellow? Game director story. But with animals, I mean sure. Yellow. Well, there's been loads of hype around Princess Farmer. I'm going to give this a hot yellow. I saw that on White Home Digital's um, vest a while back, and I, I quite like the look of that, so that's an orange for me on the scale. Fair enough, another orange. Season spree. Oh, I like the art style of this. That has the potential to be nightmare fuel. <laughs> Again, a yellow for that. Mm, yellow, visual novel. Oh, I am loving Floppy Nights already. I've played, when I played the demo of this, Mwah, superb. That is a definite red floppy night. And so that I'll be brings buying us that on day to the one. end of our program. Remember to visit wholesomegames.com for links to every game in the show. As oh, an indie developer myself, I can say for certain that just a follow or wish list can make all the difference. 
We'll see you again next year for Wholesome Direct 2022. But it wouldn't be a real showcase without one last surprise. So here's one more game we hope you'll love. Mm, bye. bye. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Good hosts. What's this? Lead or not? Lot or not? Concept. Oh, hello. Oh, yes. Cute. <laughs> Kickstarter. No, it needs to just. Come. Oi, oi. Hey. Well done to everyone at Wholesome Games for an awesome Wholesome Direct 2021. Well, I kept up with the old um, stuff there. Good, 8,000 people watching the actual real thing. That's good. I approve. Yep, no, thank you so much for the premiere. That was superb. An hour of excellent gaming, all of which I think are things that I would be very interested in uh, in general. So let me just quickly remove that. Or turn that off at least. Bear with me. There we go, and let's drag me in. Uh, just for some brief highlights there. Oh, hello. Yeah, close enough. That'll do. Um, this is how we. This is this is how we roll with OBS on the fly. So yeah, plenty of stuff that I think was really really interesting um, for me. Um, quite a lot of food for cooking games, which suits me quite fine. Um, and makes me happy and also very fat probably by the end of it all. So I'm just going to dive over to Wholesome Games for the list after the show. I'm just seeing if it's actually come out again. Yes, it has. Great. Right. So plenty of games that really, really interested me. Let's dive on to... Let me put this out of the way. I know I just done a close-up of myself, but that's enough. I've survived. Uh, let's dive into... Window capture one back up again, and we'll go full screen on that. And I think, yeah, and then let's do webcam on top, make me small, make me small again. Parappa fans will get that, hopefully. Stick me in the corner, okay? So let's run through the games that um, particularly spoke to me. So, <clears throat> funny enough, loads of them at the top. Uh, so the games that I was really impressed with in that direct that I will absolutely be following then for likely buying and therefore you will see more content of. Lod or Null, that looked super cute. So mega looking forward to that. Gecko Gods, that had a really cool puzzle aesthetic that made me kind of mm, uh, and look pretty um, really interested in that for uh, um, puzzly experiences. And there was actually a not a focus on puzzle games, which surprised me um, for this type of thing. Venba looked really interested. I was uh, interesting. I was quite impressed with that and the way how it seemed to have different mechanics for whatever it was doing. Yokai Inn looked like Ghibli the game, so absolutely all over that for me. Um, Alicon photo game that was another one that kind of really made me go ooh. Battle Cakes. I mean, it's an RPG with cupcakes. What more do you want in life? I'm all over that. Behind the Frame looked really cool. Um, that impressed me, and I'd not heard anything of that beforehand, so yay. Uh, Beasts of Mal Ravilla Island, um, or Mar yeah, Maravilla Island, is out now, apparently. I had no idea. Um, literally before the stream, I'd submitted a request for a review copy, 
Um, Because I thought it was coming out at the end of the month. But it's out now, so I might as well just go and buy a copy, to be fair. Um, So, yeah, that interested me. Book of Travel. Look, Travels looked really interesting, mainly because it reminded me of Mushishi, the anime. (laughs) Obscure reference, perhaps. Button City looked amazing. Uh, Really liked the look of that. Uh, Dordog... Dordogni? Dordogni? I need to French that up. But that looks proper cool as well. Um, Floppy Nights, I've already played the demo and I adored the demo, so yes. Fossil Corner came out today and I'll be grabbing that. Freshly Frosted, again, puzzle game. It looked like Factorio for making donuts. What more do you need? Uh, Garden Story looked quite cool. Uh, Hoa, I've not heard of that before. uh, And that intrigued me. I don't know whether that's a day one, but it looks good lovely hot pot for one i just need to make sure that that frame rate isn't representative before i kind of go yay kiwi day one i'm all over that i've been watching that for a while um preacher kind i don't remember that in the actual thing at all at lake absolutely um i find it funny that a lego game is in wholesome direct considering this is so indie uh, but I really liked the way how that looked because it was like actual Lego pieces. So, mm, yes, uh, letters that did look good to me, especially because I'm just about to start playing Lost Words, which has a very similar vibe. Uh, Moon Glow Gay Bay, Moon, Moon Glow Gay, Moon Glow Bay. Get it right. Uh, it looked proper cool. Mythic Ocean, from what I saw of it, looked really intriguing. But again, the trailer was just too short for it. Uh, Ooblets, yes. Absolutely. Uh, Pico looked cool uh, and quite meditative, especially if you're going through that Japanese tea ceremony style vibe. Mm, Yes. Um, Passport Out 2. That was the one that I guessed before it even got revealed. Boop, boop, boop. So, yes, that looked proper cool. Uh, I will be all over that. Paralives. I just need to make chest and make sure that that is just a house simulator. And if it is, I'd still be interested, to be fair. Uh, Princess Farmer, yes, match-free games with uh, powerful female cats. What more do you want? Power Wash Simulator, I'll hate myself, but I'll know I'll enjoy it. Paparazzi, absolutely. <laughs> oh, God, I, oh, I just said absolutely, like the HelloFresh advert. Oh, is HelloFresh worth the price? Absolutely. Get off my YouTube feed, woman. Um, Rainbow Billy looked amazing. Uh, Re- Koi Lit also looked quite good. Um, Sally, again, the trailer was just too short, but it looked quite cool. Um, Shashingo, yes, absolutely, because I love... Oh, now the words escaped me. The game where you click on things in a room and you change the language. You buy the language, basically, for whatever you want to learn for all the things in the room. Reminded me of that, but just for Japanese. And considering my lifelong dream is to go to Japan and like have a proper like month stay out there uh, and feel like properly embraced in the culture, that is like my bucket list thing to do. So yes for that. Uh, Snacko looked quite cool. Soup Pot, absolutely. That will be a day one for me. Uh, Spirit Swap looked quite cool as well. Tassamachi, my review of that is in progress, but essentially thumbs up. Um, dum, 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 dum. Uh, tracks of Thoughts. I don't remember that. Oh, no, that was right at the beginning, wasn't it? That looked quite cool. Unpacking intrigued me. Um, I like the concept of it, though. I just wanted to understand it more. We are OFK. Yes, I will be all over that. Uh, and Wudo, um, absolutely, I will be all over too. So from all of those, I'm going to be broke, frankly. But I don't care. So well done to wholesomegames.com uh, and wholesomedirect.2021. Uh, Great show. You can see previous shows on their YouTube channel on Wholesome Games. Uh, and well done to the three hosts who did a fine job. Um, yeah, great, 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 great. So nothing more from me. All I'm just going to say is um, if you've got any games that you particularly are looking forward to or want to uh, yeet about, pop them down in the comments. 
Um, this watch along was very, 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 very quiet. <laughs> I expected it to be like, A, it's indie, so it's niche. B, it's wholesome and everyone's like, oh, you don't want to be all woke. Um, but it's that, that's not what we mean by wholesome. It's just relaxing and calming and chilled out experiences and happiness uh, in gaming, which I think sometimes people misconstrue that you can only now have games that must be post-apocalyptic and everyone's like ripping their hearts out everywhere and like, but my life. Uh, and that's not necessarily what I am always down for. Um, yeah, um, never done a watch along. Don't know if I'll do another one again, but I enjoyed myself. So yeah, I'm going to go grab some noms. You guys take care, but please do let us know uh, down in the comments what you're interested in. And go and follow the indie creators. Wishlisting stuff really does help because the way how Steam's algorithm works, the more you wishlist something, the more it starts to appear in other people's recommendations, which gets the words out uh, without having to spend shit tons of money trying to market and get your positioning right so if you spot something even if you're mildly interested in it please do wishlist it because it makes all the difference um because i will be wishlisting all kinds of stuff um pretty much now <laughs> so yeah you guys take care see you soon bye